hello hello guys welcome back i'm gonna try something new today so i was watching a video by julie from pouring your heart out and i thought it was so fun so i'm gonna give it a try myself i probably won't do as well as her hers turned out beautiful um but we're gonna see what we can do so i've had these champagne glasses uh sitting down in storage for a long time so i thought it would be fun to do what julie did and make a new bottom for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the glass, I'll put it into my round coaster mold, try and get it centered, and then I'm gonna pour resin inside here um, and kind of create a new bottom uh, for the bottom of the glass. Uh, there's a bit of a dip underneath, so I'm wondering if I'm gonna get bubbles. Uh, Julie suggested coating this in resin first. So I might try and just put some clear on and then set it down and then go from there to try and reduce bubbles. But we'll see. So today I'm gonna do a border of these really fun crushed glass pieces. I'm gonna do that all around the outside here and then I'll fill the rest up I just have this really pretty sky blue alcohol ink, so it'll be transparent, but then it'll fill it up the rest of the way. So the really fun part is the colorful crushed glass that I'm gonna use. And I thought I'd go simple for my first time, uh, just to make it a little easier on myself. So I'm gonna go mix up some resin and we'll be back. All right guys, so I've got my resin mixed up. Each of these holds 40 milliliters, so I did just under 80 because the bottom of the glass is actually going to take up some of the room of the coaster. Probably quite a bit, actually. And actually, I think before I do too much, because these have been sitting in storage, they're probably not, they're probably just a little dusty. So I just sprayed my paper towel with some alcohol. I'm just wiping. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, that'll dry pretty quick. So. Alright, I'm gonna take a dry paper towel and just wipe it off. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this little spatula thing um, and it's all dirty. And I'll just coat the bottom. So I'm just gonna dip this in. And I don't need a ton, I don't think, but just enough to kind of try and prevent some bubbles. I don't know, we'll see. This is what Julie did. <laughs> and I think it turned out okay. Take up that one. And we'll do this one. Okay. Just running off the edge there. And this, I think there'll be some little bubbles, but hopefully this will prevent big ones. Uh, from gathering like in the center here where there's a little bit of a dip. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to take my part and pop some of the bubbles. Okay, so now the trick is to get it into here uh, without just spilling resin everywhere. So here we go. Try and get it as centered as possible. Yeah, see, I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's a bubble here, but maybe what I can do, oh, that worked pretty well. Just try and squeeze the air out. There we go. Okay, so now there's no bubbles. 
So what Julie did is she cut her coasters up so they could be separate, and that's exactly what she suggested, and it works perfectly. Good call. Okay. Although now I'm afraid that there's suction cup underneath. Hmm. That's okay. All right, here we go with this one. Oops. This one actually worked a little better. Oh no, nope, there's the there's the bubble. So I'm just gonna pick it up and kind of squeeze all the bubbles out. Probably have some bubbles, but that's okay. The goal is just to not have too many. Okay, I'm gonna try and center this as best I can. And as we add more resin, we might have to shuffle some more. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have bubbles no matter what. That's okay. Okay, let me zoom you back out here. Okay, so I'm gonna try and keep these at least a little bit apart so that I can see what I'm doing and get around the edges. So try and center those. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is pour some resin into each of these. And again, I don't think I'm gonna need all of this. So I'm gonna fill it about halfway. And we have a little bit left over, so I'll set that aside in case we need it. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is I wonder I'm thinking this through. I'm actually wondering. No, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take just a bit of resin. <laughs> and I'm going to put the rocks in there. So that they're at least coated so we'll have less bubbles. But then, what I'll do is I'll color this blue and then put it on top and then it'll just coat the rest of it. I hope that makes sense and you'll see. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. But at least this way we'll have fewer bubbles, hopefully, because the rocks are already coated in resin. So I think I'm just going to use this spoon to just put the rocks around the outside. I just want a nice, not super thick, but enough to just make it stand out when I pour the blue in. And I guess really I could do a clear layer and this would be really fun with just the colorful glass around the outside. But we'll see. I have about 22 more glasses so I could do this a lot of times if I wanted to because we don't use them for anything. They were for a party uh, several years ago and now they've just been sitting in storage since then so I could do lots of fun things. I'm, loving that julia came up with this idea or maybe she didn't maybe she saw it somewhere else but i saw it from julia so and hers were beautiful and i loved her idea of having them be different colors so that if you had guests or something uh you know everybody could tell whose glass was whose you would know which which color your glass was you wouldn't get them mixed up If you haven't checked out Julie's channel, I highly recommend it. She does so many beautiful things. I started resin way back when COVID first started. I was having a fun time and then I stopped for a long time and then I found Julie's channel 
on YouTube and really got back into resin because of all the fun things she was doing. She really inspired me to uh, start trying new things. I was doing mostly tumblers and I just found that I got bored after a while um, and wanted to do new things. So she really inspired me to, to try other things and that there was a lot you could do uh, with resin. So thank you, Julie, for reigniting my my artistic side. <laughs> she probably doesn't watch my channel, but how fun would it be if she saw it? <laughs> okay, Let's see if we've missed anything. Try and get it even. Okay. So if you have some left, I'll probably end up using this for something else. Which is totally fine. Ooh, I miss. Alright. Move that up. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got that around the edges. I'm a little worried that I'm not gonna have much room for the blue, but I'll we'll put in what we can. I'm not gonna do too much because I do want it to be pretty transparent. So we'll just do a little at a time. Sorry if you can hear all the neighbors. It's such a nice night out. We got thunderstorms last night, so nobody could be outside. So everybody's outside tonight. <laughs> Having a good time. Okay, it's a little light, so we'll do a little bit more. And two more. That's good. It's got a little tint. But it's nothing crazy. So I still want it to be see-through. You still want to be able to see the rock through the color. Alright, so here we go. Uh I think for actually first I think I'll torch to get some of these bubbles out of the rock. go. All right, so here we go with the blue. I'm just going to go slow because I don't know how much space I have left. I don't want it to overflow. She might need some taller coasters to make this work. are pretty full. This might not work as well as I thought. Pretty high. I'm gonna need some deeper coasters. Whoop! Leave that as well. <laughs> okay, 
So they are building. Um, That's about all I can do. I um, don't know how good this edge is going to look going around the top here. I'm just going to let it do its thing. I mean, I think they're cute. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Uh, Hoping they'll even out a little bit. Just making sure they're centered here. Yeah, they're pretty domed, so not a whole lot I can do. Probably have just a teensy bit more on this side. This one is domed a little bit more. The real silks are going to overflow. There, I think that's more even. All right, well, I think we'll just have to call it like that. I'm just even up this side here. Alright, do another torch. too much on that one. Okay, I think we have to call it good. So, I will let these cure overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and we will unmold them and see what we got. See you then. I thought I'd bring you down for a quick close-up. It was kind of hard to see up there. You can see just in the center here, Got a couple bubbles, but nothing crazy, so I'm okay with it. Um, I don't know, I can't really tell. So it's not quite even where it goes around the stem, and that's why I think I need some deeper molds so that I can evenly, so I can make it a little bit deeper and have it more even around the stem. But I think we'll still end up being really pretty. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Hi guys, we're back with our champagne glasses and I think they're all cured, so we're gonna take them out. All right, here we go. the bottom there are some bubbles but nothing crazy I'm actually pretty happy with that um, bring it down a little bit uh, they're not very blue are they <laughs> they're actually quite clear uh, they've got a little if you set them down on the white they've got a little bit of blue just around the edges here uh, but not much, but they're really fun. I think it would be fun to do them in a clear and maybe do rock or the crushed glass all the way up. Um, but I would need to get deeper coasters for that for sure. Cause these are not, these are quite thin. I mean, they're not that much thicker than the bottom of the glass itself. Um, so that's, that's still fun. I wish it was more blue. I should have gone more blue. I was just worried about um, you not being able to see the, the crushed glass. All right. And 
here's this one. They actually leveled out pretty well. We we had I was I was worried that they would be too high, too high on one side. Um, but they're actually kind of kind of fun. Um, and they actually have a more solid base now, so it's not as easy to. I mean, you can still tip them over, but it would take a bit more. Uh, yeah, so those are fun. Uh, definitely not perfect, but I learned a few things. This one has less, tip them upside down. This one has less bubbles than this one. So I must not have put enough epoxy in this one, on the, or resin on this one on the bottom. Um, but they're still really fun. I like them a lot. I think another fun thing to do would be to do a clear on the bottom and then do rock and then let that cure and then another clear coat um, in, in several steps. So do wish it was more blue, but I'll put more in next time if I try these again. But they're really cute and I like them a lot. Thank you for the inspiration, Julie. Um, so that's it for this one. I'll bring you down, I guess, for a close up here on this side. There we go. That's better. Um, and I think I need a deeper mold because the, uh, where it comes up, you can see, I don't know if you can see that right there. It's not like an even circle all the way around. That's okay. All right, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It helps my channel and it is free for you. Also check out my Etsy store. The link is down in the description there. I've got lots of things on there and we'll see you next time.